It was a chance to stay in New York City for five days for free. So a London couple, Duncan Malcolm and Catherine Lewis, jumped at the opportunity. But as with most things in life, the seemingly too-good-to-be-true deal came with a catch. The room the couple is staying in is a storefront. There are windows on two sides, and the public can watch everything they do from the sidewalk. I haven't walked around in my boxer shorts yet, so that's just like, I guess there's some kind of subconscious level yeah. that I know people are there. Yeah, there might be family outside, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it happened at some point, you know, just completely blows away yeah. walking around forgetting about it, especially when you wake up. The couple was approached by a friend who owns an advertising company with a twist. Real live billboards set up theatrical displays in shop windows to draw attention to client business. I'm not sure that I was convinced we'd be able to pull it off, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm not sure um, other people uh, were necessarily, I mean, it's, it was a big undertaking. It's literally like, it's, it's building a room um, from scratch, so it was, a, it was a big job. A screen surrounds the couple's bed and there was a private bathroom down the hall. So far, the couple has not run into any trouble. It was actually less noise than I thought. We had nobody banging on the window or anything like that, so that was cool. We were waiting until people cleared out of the bars and came and banged on the window. But no, it was cool. We slept really well. I mean, it was our first day, so we were knackered by the end of the day. But yeah, it was exciting. And it's amazing how quickly you kind of forget and you just accept that this is your room and, you know, and your space and you just forget about the people around you. Lewis says she feels this experience is no different from providing updates on her Facebook page. The couple will be in New York for the rest of the week. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.